sharp 3% surge in Brent crude overnight. Brent is now almost at $84 a barrel. Manisha Gupta joins in for a roundup of all the action there. Manisha, good morning. Sonia, thank you for that. Well, yes, very volatile moves continue in case of the crude oil prices. So apart from the dollar index coming off from its highs of 104 to almost 103 has been supportive across asset classes. For crude, it also has been about the fact that the Saudi Arabia has increased prices for its Asia consumers for the first time in six months as they see demand coming back. Also, Turkey Sihan Terminal will reopen today post-earthquake, but the markets do believe that it would only be partial and there are supply concerns now coming in from Syria and Turkey both. And then the likelihood of strong Chinese demand continuing has been supportive. Markets also are looking at uh, the fact that you are looking at the U.S. food inventory seeing a decline by 2 million barrels in the previous week. We have seen strong gains come back for natural gas. That one gained by 5% overnight. The coal prices also are off one-year lows as the Chinese demand comes back into the market. It is also about the power testimony saying that the rates will likely to continue but this inflation seems to be coming in is really supportive across commodities so whether it's precious metals, Rubber, biofuels, all of that seems to be trading in positive. All right, uh, Manisha, thanks very much uh, for that. Uh, take a quick uh, break here. Devin Choksi of KR Choksi will be joining in to talk stocks. We also will have the management of Kalyan Jewelers uh, to discuss their third quarter results.